Welcome to day three of workout 1.2, subtraction. Today we're going to be looking at two workouts. So the first workout we're going to do is workout B. So this is just practicing our subtraction facts. Okay, so similar to day one, we're just going to be thinking how quickly can I work out what seven take away four is? I'm writing the answer in the box. Try and use your known facts. You might want to do some counting back, but stop and think. Do I already know this? Use your addition facts to help you. Okay. So go away and do those as quickly as you can. Come back and have a look, see, see the answers, and then we'll have a look at a card challenge together. So here's the answers to the subtraction workout B. Have a little look, see how you got on. So takeaway cards. So Coco's got some cards here. She takes the smaller number away from the larger number. Oh, so chooses two cards. I'll tell you what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make my own version of those cards quite quickly, just so I can manipulate them. So I'm just going to get a piece of paper and just really quickly make my own cards because then I can move the numbers around. Let's move that over there. Here are my cards. So I need an eight, a 17, a 12, and a seven. Okay, so Coco picks two cards and takes the smaller number away from the larger number. So I'm gonna pick uh, two cards and I'm gonna take the smaller number away from the larger number. So I'm going to do it like that. I'm going to take them away. I've got an answer of 17 take away 7 is 10. Oh, Coco gets an answer of 5. So I'm going to need to explore possible pairs of cards to see if I can get an answer of 5. I've got to try and find two possible ways to do that. So I'm probably going to find quite a few that don't work. But that's OK. Have a go. So this second challenge here, Colin chooses two cards. He takes the smaller number away from the larger number. List all the different answers he could get. OK, so I might need to try and think about how I can be organised. I might keep the 17 and do all the subtraction calculations I can with the 17. Then I might swap the 17. But I'm always going to be the larger number, subtract the smaller number to get an answer. OK. Now, the final bit of this challenge, Colin swaps one of the cards for a 15. Doesn't tell us which one. All oh, right, so I'm going to get a 15 now. In fact, I'm going to turn, take this 12, turn it over, and I'm going to write a 15 on the bottom. So I've swapped my 12 for a 15. Now what calculations can I do? Hmm, lots, I think. Off you go.